there will be a lot of numbers, a lot of like transparency. I mean like it's full transparency. My take home pay, my total amount I spend on this and that is all here. So hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is the finance series that we'll be going through and I'm gonna tell you what I spent in the month of March. This month I have made a point to post this video earlier the following month, as you can tell. <laughs> So yeah, a few big tickets uh, this month and that is actually just the Circus DNA, totally not sponsored by this. But I have been camping for their offers uh, for a very long time now and I have never successfully made it to actually get the premium kit at $89. There was a, like a promo here and there. So anyway, I managed to get two kits for the price of 50% and that is $899 sing dollars which is freaking X like I totally get it but I have no idea why like I'm quite thrifty when I'm spending in terms of material goods but when it comes to things like uh, personal well-being and mental related or physical or health related issues I'm more willing to spend as you can see so anyway, I got two kits at $899 and yeah, I have already did all the swapping and contacting the courier and stuff. I'm gonna give you my review at the end of this video. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's basically the bulk of my <laughs> big ticket item. And yeah, also in the month of March, I have quite a few dividend payouts coming in. I don't really have a lot of REITs or stocks or whatsoever, but uh, there is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 stocks and REITs dividend payout this month, which is, I don't know if it's a coincidence or what, I'm pretty sure I didn't plan for this. Anyway, they add up to like a few hundred in which I'm gonna let you know how much is that in the later part of the video. So before I begin, as in every finance related video, there will be a lot of numbers, a lot of like transparency. I mean like it's full transparency. My take home pay, my total amount I spend on this and that is all here. So if you are very uncomfortable with all these numbers related items, because by no means this should be for comparison's sake, there's nothing to compare. It's just more for good information. If you are also having like a financial goal for this year, let me know down below and we can keep track of each other's goal. Anyway, yeah, let's begin. For the total cash outflow in the month of March, Oh wait, side note, <laughs> sorry I keep doing this, but uh, all numbers that I've stated here will be in uh, Singapore currency, in SGD. I'm going to put down like here, uh, what is 1 USD is to SGD conversion rate, so you can have a reference. Anyway, total cash outflow for the month of March is at $2,404.95 in which 70% I've spent on medical or health or insurance which is crazy much I feel like I have reached the age where health is one of my main priority now <laughs> oh no anyway yeah of this 70% that i spent on medical $899 I spent on the circle DNA kit I also went to the dentist this month and that cost around $130. Uh, I also got some lactose sachet and vitamins which is totally not the super cost effective thing to get if we are lactose intolerant. Anyway, let me just show it to you. Here. So for those of you who are lactose intolerant, this is what you should get. And the recommended dosage is like 4 to 6 sachet per day which one sachet is around $2 so I'm totally not having any of that usually I just take one sachet to how do you call that? assuage the situation in my gut anyway just for good info for health yes so yeah 70% on health 
and 24% on food. So in total for food this month I spent like $580.10 which is a slight improvement I guess for um, my previous month. I've been spending around like 600 plus minus. 3% on transport, 4% on shopping, so I bought like a office sandal because the one that I've been using was like I think at least 2 to 3 years old and also other subscription service yeah for the remaining 4% for other subscription services I have only have my mobile subscription and um, the tube buddy subscription now let's move on to the total cash inflow for the month of March which is uh, uh, not very nice as compared to the previous few months uh, that is $4,655.08 in which 93% comes from my take home salary and 7% comes from dividend that amounts to $314.08 for that one two three four five six seven seven different reads or stocks that i have yeah so that brings me to a total cash inflow of two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and thirty cents thirteen cents in a month of march i think my goal was like 2.5 to 3 so obviously i didn't quite hit that but pretty much because i bought the circus dna kit if not i would have hit 3000 in terms of savings this month but then again i cannot admit that <laughs> because it is a cash outflow so yeah i think this month which is april that i'm filming this video right now i have to be more cost effective in terms of the things that i am willing to spend just a side note, the reason why I only calculated my take-home pay and not my non-current assets including the Central Provident Fund or uh, in the US it's like 401k or something is because I'm calculating cash and there is a goal that I'm working towards too and I need cash. So yeah, that sums up pretty much uh, my March journey. If you have any tips and tricks on how to how to <laughs> do this better let me know down in the comment section down below and i'll see you in five to six days time see ya bye ah, right i forgot i also wanted to talk about the circus live dna uh I bought the kit and the kit came but when it comes to contacting the FedEx person so I'm from Singapore so when you buy the entire kit there is they already provided you the the package to return back to them uh, that part is a bit of like a hassle and also I had ulcer when I did the kit so I'm not so sure how accurate the kit will be if you have done the test before let me know down below if it is accurate to you or not I'm very curious to see what's, how, how my results will be but I think it will only be available in 2-3 uh, to three weeks time so yeah so anyway I was googling on the FedEx, FedEx courier and I even created an account but it turns out that you don't have to do that you just have to call the FedEx hotline if you're in Singapore and then they will arrange a pickup service for you here with the tracking number you have on the package that they provided to you easy i wish somebody briefed me based on that but according to their website i was even reading the instruction i'm not so sure if it's like not clear to me or just me but yeah putting it out here for those of you who wanna try it out that this might be the easiest way to go you don't even have to create an account on fedex you can just call the help call the hotline that you see on whatever you google in which in which their review is quite bad i think it's only one out of five and the office is closed permanently but actually they are open yeah just call them okay bye